Hi, this is Team C with Burger King Whopper Virgin's case study. In 1954, Burger King opened as Insta Burger King in Miami, Florida. They expanded by franchising and eventually sold to Pillsbury in 1967, who tried expanding by bringing in key McDonald's employees and expanding globally. Throughout the years, they have had some big marketing efforts and strong ad campaigns such as the Whopper Freakout and the Subservient Chicken. The subsequent controversial ad is this case's focus of the Whopper Virgins. The Whopper Virgins was released as an eight-minute documentary in November 2008 with the purpose to conduct the purest taste test by including participants that had never tasted a burger or heard of Burger King and McDonald's. Participants were taken from remote locations, displaying their traditional dresses while differentiating the taste between the Mac and the Whopper. Critics deemed the documentary culturally insensitive and suggested it ridiculed the poverty and hunger issues of the communities and that the word virgins was offensive to the participants and to the families attending Burger King. Although Burger King discontinued the ad shortly, they refused to accept any negative remarks of participant humiliation. They said that the people were happy to meet them and did not appear offended. In addition, they said they had even invested money to solve their community's problems. The ad also suffered credibility issues. The test was said to be conducted by independent researchers, but no concrete data presented. It was also said that native tribal people's judgment would not be able to sway an American's preference over an American burger. In addition, the company did not have an appropriate CEO and SEM plan, resulting in half the viewership having trouble accessing the site with similar but inaccurate word searches. The Internet has changed the balance of power in the consumer's favor, and this change has come about quickly. One way communication directed towards consumers are becoming increasingly ineffective, giving way to more interactive communication. Burger King previously had capitalized on traditional marketing ads to become the number two fast food chain in America. However, in 2003, Burger King began to lose ground to its competitors in which experts blamed their decline in popularity to their lackluster marketing campaigns. To regain market share from its competitors, Burger King chose to conduct a taste test campaign in which their approach was meant to be edgy, out of the box, and most of all viral. The goal was to enhance its brand among the tech-savvy younger generation customers. Burger King wanted to test how the Whopper would perform in a world that didn't have ad or marketing awareness or any sentimental attachments to either brand. To this end, they traveled to three remote villages to conduct this taste test between the Whopper and Big Mac. Once launched, the campaign received heavy criticism, much of it utilizing social media. Social media has an always-on aspect to it and is a source of instant communication that has the potential to garner the attention of millions. In this case, an eventual 1.3 million people viewed the campaign. Ultimately, in the end, the campaign was not successful, despite generating a large amount of social media buzz, mass media attention, and criticism, which is still publicity and brand awareness. In the end, the campaign was cut short and Burger King made some execution mistakes. Plus, longer-term revenue and profit was not positively affected by the campaign. Due to the large amount of buzz generated and despite the mistakes in execution, there are lessons from this campaign that marketing professionals can take away from it, and thus, the viral marketing model became more clear. Those lessons include, viral marketing requires the initiation of an emotional or internal response. In this case, human responses such as anger, disgust, and laughter drove significant interest in this campaign. Online viral marketing requires careful pre-planning to cover all the online channels that one may turn to in order to seek out or find the viral content. In this case, Ver Burger King very likely missed a wide number of potential viewers because of their search engine marketing mistakes. The primary difficulty that other firms that choose to use a viral marketing campaign to develop major media responses, how would they find a topic that stirs up such varying emotions without crossing the line of bad taste and potential negative brand awareness? Viral marketing strategy and how to properly garner and use all the attention may be the easier part. Finding the idea that fits the mold is the difficult part. In conclusion, the company succeeded at causing viral controversy but could benefit from actually analyzing their customer decision making. In their efforts to gain ground over McDonald's, they could conduct neuromarketing research that may cause the ads to be better directed. Although they have done a good job at stirring social reactions, Burger King would do well to keep in mind that a good SEO search engine optimization strategy and SEM search engine marketing plan could make a difference. 
Also, instead of a pure taste test, they could focus on customer interactions such as with Pepsi's successful taste campaign. People also love options, so expanding the menu choices would prove beneficial as well. Thank you.